guys, Toxic Roxy here, and welcome back to another video on No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. If you remember in the last episode, we took on Matt Helms at the Akashic Point 1, and then Sylvia told us a little bit about Akashic Point 2, which we should be visiting today to face the 23rd ranked assassin, I believe? Uh, she did mention a woman's cries, which could allude to our assassin today. Side job, getting trashed. That one, it, it pays the most, but it is not the funnest one to do. Um, before we do that ranking battle, though, I do want to try out the revenge missions, since we haven't done any yet, and we should be able to do, like, I believe all of them at this point, but we're going to do, like, maybe two or three this episode. Really, it's just a hack and slash, like, go kill some people type thing. Like, it, it's not as, like, pressing as actual assassin rank challenges and all that. I don't know, are you? Now we're talking. All that training at Ryan's gym got me all pumped, man. Which I'll probably finish that off camera too, just because it is going to be quite annoying once we get to that point. Uh, and I do want to do all the training just so we're absolutely jacked for the final boss. Just because we've been having so many struggles with this series, I think just I think that's probably the real issue is that we're not strong enough to face a lot of these bosses because it does expect you to do the training. And I remember my first playthrough. Uh, well, because I was, like, still just trying to get back into the game, I was on sweet. Uh, I never really did the gym training stuff until my mild playthrough, because, like, yeah, it really is a different kind of game when you're here. Oh, God, we're trapped behind a box. Come here, gun guy. The gun guys are the real enemies of this game. Uh, there's going to be a level later on, like I said, that we're probably going to have to skip through a lot of, just because it's a lot of enemy killing and no boss fight for a good bit. Um, and a lot of that enemy killing is just guys with guns. Alright, so that's Revenge Mission 1. Yeah, we'll do Revenge Mission 2 and then we'll go do our rank challenge. Which is at Akashic Point 2. Yeah, I was right. Alright, so the next one is at a Crab Shack. This should be fun. Oh yeah, so we actually have a target here. So, essentially, what you have to do is just kill the target. You don't have to kill everyone. So, usually I just like to target them and get it over with. Uh, oh yeah, but there's also, like, chests and stuff here, isn't there? I think it's just health. I don't think there's any collectibles in these. Right? I don't think there's any collectibles in these. There shouldn't be, just because those are assassin-based things. Right? Yeah, it's just, like, health and all that. Let me go find the target. He's back here. Nobody attack me while I'm turned around. Stab him. Aw, oh, dang it. They also have very similar missions like this in the first game. Okay, cool. Mission's over, guys. Oh, even if we didn't target him, we probably would have gotten him in uh, collateral. Because we killed like three people there. <laughs> just from slashing him up. Alright, so we have our next ranked battle, I believe. We would get our kill on, but we're gonna go get our kill on on a prison island, because that sounds like fun. What? 
Oh, it didn't show us the cutscene. Isn't there supposed to be a cutscene of, like, Travis on his motorcycle and then he, like, jumps and slams into that? Or, like, what happens here? Uh, slip t past the tight security. If you're seen, you're dead. Find your way to the entrance of the facility. Okay, yeah. So, essentially, this is, like, a stealth mission bit of the game. And it's not fun. Because, really, it's just... You can do it without being stealthy, but it just means you're going to have to kill a lot more people and probably take a lot more damage. So, I'd prefer it if we took the stealthy approach. Don't see me, 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 don't see me. Don't see me, no. You don't see me. Nobody sees me. You don't know me, fool. You don't know me. Uh, I think we made it. I think we actually might have made it. Which, like, would be surprising. It would be very surprising if we actually make this. Oh, never mind. We've been discovered. Well, crap. Let's go, I guess. Who wants to die today? Because God knows I do. It's all gun guys, too. Luckily, they are quite fragile. But yeah, they are still annoying. Did I collateral them? Nope. Collateral. Oh. Never mind, y'all are dead in a different kind of way. Oh yeah, they're already scared. Be afraid of the tiger. You want some tiger action? Because it's quite fun here. Alright, cool. That's all that done. Now we just gotta wait for tiger mode to wear off so we can actually get into the facility here. We're gonna be here for a bit. And we're back. <laughs> yeah, see, so this is normally where the level would start if you were stealthy. We're not that. Also, I'm really debating whether I should get, like, the cosmetic stuff for Travis, just because, like, if I build up enough money to get the peony first, and then we'll maybe do that. The peony isn't required. It's just a weapon that I think I will end up getting, because I kind of want it. Oh yeah, this is a weird time section. It doesn't really mean much, just because it's quite easy to get to. You just have to kill stupid people. Anyway, collectibles. Santa Death Parade! Oh yeah! So, um, also in this level, I believe there's another collectible that uh, pairs with that. Let's just stab this dude. Um, there's like, there's figures. Um, for your room. And one of them is Santa Death Parade, and the other is our robot, uh, Glastonbury. And I don't remember if that's in this level or a later level, but I'm pretty sure it's the same level. Essentially, it just makes a cool little display in the room. Also, this alarm is annoying. Can everyone just die? Like I said, it's not the people in this room that are annoying. These are actually- Oh, sevens! This is the cool stuff. Like, if you thought becoming a tiger was cool, wiping out the entire map, that's cool. If only you could do that during a boss fight and instant kill them. That would be fun. I'd have so much fun then. Uh. Oh, yeah, see, look. Is that it? No, that's the UAA Killer Collection. I thought it was Glastonbury. I was like, oh, maybe. <laughs> Just because I see a collectible. Maybe. Glastonbury, okay, yes, I was right, it is in this level. So what's beyond door number three? Oh, it's a bunch of douchebags. Okay, my favorite. I wanted to stab him, I don't know why it wouldn't let me stab him. There we go. Stab the gun dudes, just because they're going to be around for a while. Stab him too. Nice. I do love killing before it gets annoying. Oh, nice. Wow, we just stabbed every one of those three that came out of the ceiling there. 
And we're about to stab another. Oh, never mind. We're gonna really stab another. <laughs> How could you be so cruel? I mean, that's your opinion, but like... I shall eat another. I don't know why my Vader voice from that uh, comic dub is just all my... Right, is that a comic dub of uh, Darth Vader and Luke? I shall eat another. Whenever he's talking about eating cats or whatever. It's weird. I don't even know what I'm referencing half the time, guys. Haha, -ha, tuck and roll actually worked. It's a cold day in hell. <laughs> when the tuck and roll actually works. Strawberry on the shortcake. I was ahead of you, Travis. Who else is dropping out of the sky? The freaking... Well, I was gonna say Unisonis, but there's two guys in black suits and one guy in a white suit, so really no. God, they really just keep coming. You know, this isn't as bad as that level I was mentioning, though, in, like, every episode besides this one. <laughs> well, no, every, I believe I mentioned it earlier. There is that one, that one level. And we'll get there, because I hate that level, but also love that level. I don't know, it's weird. I have a love-hate relationship with a lot of things in that bit. Also, I need to get better at doing one crucial thing in this game. One thing that's going to be very important, as we learn in episode 2, uh, and we'll talk about it once we get out of this little bit here, just because things are annoying. Cool, are we done? Oh, no, we still got this guy. Which is weird, since I was doing the thing I was talking about. Okay, the thing I meant to say was, we need to get better at recharging our beam katana. Because I used to uh, prioritize that. And in that Nathan Copeland level, it was really hard to do it. Uh, but I, I tried my best and we somehow got through. Next room. Oh, crap, we're already at the boss, are we? Alright, well, I'll save here. The awkward footsteps. You know, for a prison bathroom, that's not too bad. You know, I've seen I've seen worse in video games. Quite worse, yeah, actually, a lot worse. So no, that's not that bad. I I, I would use that bathroom. Still probably want to be the most sanitary thing, but yeah. Oh wow, yeah, so useful. All right, let's go. This boss is... So the damsel's in here. Very special. Shit's put out for the rescuers, right? It just looks like a giant bug zapper. Jeez. I thought I was the toxic one. She's literally over here spewing venom. What's it thinking? She's definitely not a broad I'd want to hook up with. Don't say that, handsome. Actually, you're just my type. Thanks. But I was about to say, I think I'll pass. What's up with her accent? You related to Sylvia? Uh, okay. Well, that was easy. Oh, okay. She's not dead.
Oh my god, I do remember that. You know, it's not as bad as the uh, other attack I remember. Which we'll get to in a second, I think. Or maybe not. I remember this boss being actually one of the easiest ones in the game. Yeah, her defense is nothing. I think we're actually going to get through this boss quite easy. Oh, weird. Okay, I can't even stand up during that attack. That's weird. Nope, that's battery. Oh, see, that's the attack I was talking about earlier. The one that sucks. You do not want to get hit by that. Because, oh, gosh dang it. And I went and ran right into it. It just makes you slow and makes it to where you can't really target or do anything for that matter. Oh, so let me just get poisoned again immediately after. Me talking about how the boss is easy. Immediately. So, um, no. Okay, at least we're not poisoned anymore, but like, we still can't stand up. Jesus. Okay, screw this. Screw this. Screw this. Screw this. I need to stop talking crap. Feeling pretty. No, don't try and stand up. There we go. Easy. Still suck, but less so. I still think that's the easiest boss. I think we just had a bad time getting poisoned. That's the only thing that makes that boss hard. Oh, dang. Signature booty jiggle? But now the booty is in slices. Anyway, that's Chloe Walsh. Um... She's not really a major character. She just kind of shows up and then dies. Because she dies that quickly. <laughs> Travis, you are now ranked 20, sir. Good to hear. What was up with that cartoon sound effect, though? Yeah, that makes sense. Then why did you offer? <laughs> Pretty sure we're gonna die. <laughs> anyway, number 23. No longer the prisoner Chloe Walsh is now the absolute assassin Travis Touchdown. Well, that was... Okay, I guess. Uh... I don't really have any comment on that, you know? It's nothing too crazy. It's not the hardest boss in the game. But, um, I actually will do some more off-camera. I'll see if I can get to the peony. I'll go do some practice on other things. Oh my god, I forgot about the orange hair. Um, but anyway, what was I saying? Uh, I'll do some practice off camera before the next video. I'll do some grinding, get up to the peony, maybe buy some cosmetics so we can have a different looking Travis. Um, and go through uh, the Ryan's gym training so we can get stronger. Uh, and I'll try and do that all before the next episode so we can actually have a good rest of this series for once in my life. Uh, but anyway... I would like to thank you all again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And remember, rock on.